Hello everyone, welcome in the next episode. So, what I wanted to do today is give you an update of how we're doing in April. Uh, I got this suggestion from one of the viewers and I think what I'm gonna do right now is just do these monthly updates where I'm gonna tell you what went horribly wrong, you know, if I managed to fix some things and what went really good. Uh, anyway, today's will be about April and it's uh, 7 a.m. in the morning. As a matter of fact, it's just the beginning of May and we're gonna have 25 degrees Celsius today. So I made sure that I watered the whole garden properly. Anyway, let's start from Polytunnel. Uh, so these are the greens that I've been harvesting for the last three weeks. And here we have carrots and these are nantis. Uh, this is a dill, which is doing great this far. Uh, what else do we have here? So we have some lettuces. Uh, this is going to be all year round and this is called flashy I think that's the flashy we have some um, rocket here spinach and as you can see I've been uh, I've been harvesting spinach all the time now and here are the little gem so little gem I'm planning to leave these guys and grow to the heart so I'm just gonna harvest the whole lettuce rather than leaves uh, I might do the same actually with all year round and the flashy the only thing is that tomatoes will be coming here anytime now, uh, so I will have to start interplanting between these guys. Anyway, um, this this here is the uh, sweet corn, and as you can see, it start growing as well, but it's drying out very very fast. So I have to water it almost every day. I still have some stuff on the hotbed. We have some parsley, lettuces. This is basil here. It's very small, but it's getting there. Here we have, uh, what's, what is that? Oh, this is Myron. So this is the uh, sweet Myron here. And this is sheaves. And rest is the lettuce. So I'm, I'm treating lettuce as a filler. So whenever I'm gonna have some gaps, I will just squeeze lettuce in. All right, so that's the polytunnel. Okay, so here we are outside. Let's start with the first bed here. So this is three different types of growing potatoes that I try to test here. Um, and you can find a link to the video where I put all the description how I'm going about it in the about section. As you can see, the potatoes start growing through already. Um, so what I will do now is top them up with the with more leaves. I like these guys here, as you can see, they popping out as well. So that's the potato bed, the second bed is all the leafy greens, beetroots. So this guy here is Boltardi, and this is in clumps of four. And there's some succession sowing I've done, so these guys are much bigger than the other one. Here we're moving to lettuces, and this is all year round. Uh, I think it might be Butterhead, and this lettuce is purely for leaves. So what I will do, I'm just gonna pick up leaves, outer leaves, um, you know, and rather than picking up the whole hearts. This lettuce here is called Flashy and uh, and it's doing good as well. Uh, as a matter of fact, as you can see, there is not many weeds <laughs> and the only reason for that is that I just spent five hours yesterday weeding the whole plot. And here we have a, here we have a um, spinach and you know uh, the variety i forgot the variety but if you go to my spreadsheets google spreadsheets i have all the vegetables listed in here and you can find a link to the spreadsheets in the about section so I, i'm start picking this up as you can see there is a lot of leaves are gone but it's producing like crazy and we have here we have a bit more boltardi okay so the third bed is alliums and we start with the uh, deal over here this deal was planted from modules so i sow it in modules then it was transplanted into the soil and i think i heard this is not a good idea to do it this way but as you can see it grow it is growing just fine so i think i'm gonna use this method next year as well then we move to garlic and garlic was bought from the shop you know regular garlic that you buy although it was organic and as you can see it's growing fine so you know let, let we will let it grow and, and see how big the cloves gonna be then we have onions and these are two types over I think over 60 onions growing in clumps of five um, I think this one is red baron forgot the name of the other one so I'm just gonna put it on the on the screen for you guys 
and yeah not much to say really they're just doing fine just going for it here we have more deal now this deal was planted straight into the ground and um, and I have really big problems with weeding it because as you can see there is like grasses and and all the perennial weeds sprouting through because this is the first season so all these weeds are still in the soil after the first year of growing I hope there will be much less of them but it's making a you know it's just a headache to to weed uh, around the deal so that's why I sometimes have those gaps when nothing is growing because I probably just pull up the deal along with the grass okay so these two are only brassicas and uh, here we have some there, there we have some cabbages as you can see all these brassicas looks the same you know all this stuff is like cola breezy cauliflower cabbages and all that's that's why everything looks the same here we have some romanesco i think it's cauliflower as well and i space them as you can see every 18 inches um here we have super Sme super smells kohlrabi so this is kohlrabi uh, and i'm growing kohlrabi because we we like to eat it with my wife so you know i was hoping to get quite a lot of them as a matter of fact all this space should be kohlrabi here here we have another type of kohlrabi and again some successive sowing so these are much older than these guys and what they're gonna start doing they're gonna start creating fruit as you can see they start they already start doing it and here we have more cauliflowers so they're doing fine now on this bed on the next bed what we also have again some cauliflowers cola breeze is growing here and these are the green mix they're still growing i have some holes in them occasionally but overall they're doing really really good And this one here is the strawberry bed, uh, raised bed. Um, what I've noticed is that once I mulch this bed with a sheep wool, all the strawberries took off. So I think it might be the moisture that the uh, sheep wool is holding. Um, but anyway, this is the alpine strawberry that you can see here, which was grown from the seed last year. And I think I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna let it go to fruits and see what we're gonna get. Uh, I'm gonna put some netting on this bed later on as well. Uh, here we have two types of strawberries so these guys here were bought and these are summer fruiting strawberries um, and I will pick up all the uh, flowers from them just to make sure that they give me big fruits next year on the other side are autumn fruiting strawberries which were given to me by uh, someone from the allotment and as you can see we have some weeds showing up in the spaces between the sheep wool so I will have to steal do some weeding around it okay now moving to raspberries uh, these these guys here are summer fruiting variety the other one is autumn i have a problem with summer variety this one was bought this year and i don't see any growth whatsoever on all the on almost all the canes i think only the first one is going for it so i'm gonna give it two more weeks and if i don't see anything then i'm gonna buy new canes because most likely they just died in the transportation so I'm gonna go back to to you know to the company and see if they can send me new one anyway here are the uh, the one that's doing pretty good and this variety is something that I <laughs> really don't know because it's uh, it was taken from the community orchard where I was volunteering I put it in my back garden and then I even make a video how I uh, you know how I divide uh, the roots and transplant them here so i hope this is autumn fruiting variety and if they, if it is then i should have some fruits from it even this year okay and here in the back we have few more bushes uh, so we have red currant and it's already start making fruits as you can see we have uh, what i've done as well i've put some cds here because i don't have enough netting to cover it for, and prevent the bits from eating the fruits so i put something that's supposed to scare them off and we'll see if it will work I have some black currants here which are start growing as well the problem with them i have is that there is a lot of bindweed near the root ball so that's gonna be a headache i will have to pick this up all the time 
and I have some gooseberries and gooseberries isn't actually gooseberries have started producing fruits as well yeah here so that's gonna be fruit bushes now going here we have a uh, uh, grocery potatoes that I've planted six inches deep and again they started growing already what I will do I will try to not heal them up not cover them at all and we're just gonna see how they will do